Yay, last video of the day. I hope. Um, okay. So, I had a video and a poll going on whether you guys wanted to know about me. Not just my opinions. So, this is separate from, you can ask me anything you want, like opinion-wise, of things you want me to rant about, blah blah blah. This is surface questions about myself. So, I decided instead of writing the answer to this, that I would do a video instead. So, this is from Blipmaster5, aka my brother. <laughs> Love you, bro. Um, his question was, what was my first exposure to anime and, and I know what show it was. So, my first exposure to anime was this little kid. Don't know how old I was. Probably somewhere in middle school or something. Uh, Kiki's Delivery Service came on Disney a lot. So that was my first anime I ever watched and like fell in love with. But at the time, I didn't know what anime was. So I just thought it was a cartoon that was just drawn and structured differently than all the rest of the cartoons I've watched as a kid. So there you go, that was my first exposure to anime. Um, I guess it's a little too short of an answer, so, um, how I, like, really got into it, I guess, um, back in seventh grade I met my best friend, Maki, one of my best friends, I have more than one, and she was self-proclaimed otaku, uh, I think she still is, I'm not sure, she's, she's more an anime than I am, so, um, she got me and my other best friend Jessica, and she exposed us into anime. Um, she, she's a lot of girly stuff too. Um, we watched Magic Girl, Magic, Magic Girl, oh, Magical Night, Magic Night, Magic, ah, Magic Night Rare, something like that. Oh my God, I can't even remember what it is. But that, that was the one of them, and uh, Deji Chirat, um, Revolutionary Girl, Utna, um, the, yeah, I think that's the, our first little exposure there, and since we hung out with, I mean, we hung out with her a lot, and I did um, a lot more than Jessica, because she moved to another state. We became obsessed with Trigun. So, Trigun was my first anime obsession, and it was also one of my first cosplays. So, there you go. That's pretty much the gist of my first exposure to anime, and now I like a lot more shows, and I read manga, and... Sometimes I read more manga than I watch shows, and sometimes it shifts. Uh, at the moment, I'm kind of reading more than I watch, which is kind of depressing. I really miss watching anime and watching Asian dramas and movies, just anything that isn't Food Network, I guess. Um, and yeah, I I'm, um, I'm not an otaku. I, I don't think I ever could be. I'm terrible at keeping up with new shows for the fact that I never make time to actually watch anime, so, and if you didn't notice, I kind of lack on the anime reviews, so that's why, because I'm really terrible at keeping my schedule of consistent of watching animes and dramas, and hopefully I can work on that next week so I, I won't be all I don't know lagging on the anime um at the moment let's see I read a little bit of Naruto and I'm gonna try to get back into Beck and start see if I like after school nightmare um, because it's a little more information than needed so anyway there you go with Master 5. 
a first exposure to anime was Kiki's Delivery Service. So, there you go. Um, since I know you personally, what was your first, you know, exposure to anime? I'm really curious, since now you're watching a lot more than I am. Um, this is also open to everybody else who likes anime too. What was your first exposure to anime? Leave your answer in the comments below, and if you have any more, you know, questions you want to ask me about myself, you can leave those in the comments too. Also, my email is in the description below, so you can just, you know, send me an email. It's down there. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna work on my paper and try to get better. Yeah. Thanks, guys!